In this video, I wanted to showcase my thoughts on the truth between 8GB RAM and 16GB RAM. So really drawing it out, I wanted to use this iPad with desk view to kind of showcase not just what you do with a Apple MacBook combo, but also just talk about how RAM, in my opinion, works. So this illustration is to showcase that you have you could get a default 8 gigabytes RAM versus 16 gigabytes RAM. And I should have drawn these bars better. I do it later in the video, but basically when you need to store something, let's say you want to remember something, I write out here, remember this. And then on the 16 gigabyte RAM version, I ran out the same thing. Plus you have more room to write out more things to keep in memory. That's essentially how you could think about how RAM works is you have a dedicated space of storing information and it's built specifically for that. But when we start talking about how macOS uses swap memory, now that the eight gigabytes RAM is full and you want to store something additional to what you want to remember, keep in mind the 16 gigabyte RAM could store, remember this and also, but now you need to use uh, let's use this physio sticky newspaper or sticky pad as the swap memory, which represents the SSD. It's not meant necessarily for keeping RAM, but we could use it for swap memory. So now I write something to the SSD and then I write something again to the SSD. I decided to change cameras here because the, um, the camera angle on desk view kind of distorts things. But essentially what we have is we could write something else and that is how the SSD swap memory works. We use up one sticky pad at a time. And these represent uh, the amount of, in the lifetime of SSD, you have a limited amount of times to write to the SSD. So that's basically the major concern of why people decide to go with um, SSD uh, versus getting more RAM is because when you get more SSD, well, you can always get a new hardware enclosure but you can't necessarily upgrade the RAM when choosing a MacBook. So most of the time people say upgrade to 16 gigabytes RAM. And by what I illustrate here, <clears throat> um, I want to say that the hard drive has a limited amount of writes, uh, analogous to how I have a limited amount of sticky notes for the SSD and that's swap memory. But whereas RAM is built to be rewritten multiple times and you have pretty much an unlimited uh, length there. So again, as I cut and I've redrew this, 16 gigabytes RAM can have more space than the eight gigabytes RAM. Um, so keep that in mind uh, is that the swap memory takes up a limited amount of time, but you know, you're better off upgrading to 16 gigabytes RAM so you don't quote unquote ruin your SSD with swap memory. That's my take on RAM. Let me know if you got so many questions in the comments below. See you guys in the next video. Peace.